At 17 years old, most of us are in high school, applying for college, and just enjoying life. But what if I told you, there was a player who at the age of 17, was playing in the NBA. This is that story. What's going on basketball fans, my name is Josh and I am back with another video. Imagine being 17 years old, fresh out of high school, getting paid millions and millions of dollars to live the dream and play in the NBA. That is the story of the two-time NBA champion, Andrew Bynum. Bynum was born in New Jersey back in 1987. From a young age, Bynum was in love with the game of basketball. Throughout elementary and middle school, Bynum was just much taller and stronger than the rest of the competition. Bynum was built just like Shaq, and at a time when Shaq was straight dominating the NBA, that was probably a good thing. During high school, Bynum jumped around from school to school until he found St. Joseph High School, which was a Catholic school in New Jersey. For the first time in his life, Bynum finally had some consistency, not only academically, but also on the court. He had coaches and a great team that supported him in his budding professional basketball career. As a junior in high school, Bynum averaged 16 points, 13 rebounds, and 6 blocks a game. Very quickly, he became one of the best players in the state of New Jersey. But he wasn't done there. Once Bynum became a senior, it was a wrap. He just dominated high school basketball. He averaged 22 points, 16 rebounds, and 5 blocks a night. Just like that, Bynum rose the national ranks and became one of the best players in the entire country. Bynum got offers from so many top colleges, he was a McDonald's All-American, but when it was all said and done, he chose to attend the University of Connecticut. But for Bynum, deep down, the last thing he wanted to do was to go to school. As a guy who was raised poor and didn't have any money, it was about time Bynum finally got paid. Bynum was gifted with size and strength, and he decided that with his potential, he could be a good NBA player almost immediately. So, Bynum declared for the NBA draft and was selected with the 10th overall pick in the 2005 NBA draft. Bynum was just 17 years, 244 days old on the day he was drafted. That made him the youngest player in NBA history. Remember, this was 2005. In 2004, the Lakers traded Shaq to the Miami Heat, so they were without a starting caliber center, and Andrew Bynum? was supposed to fill those shoes. That's one of the biggest reasons why the Lakers selected him. He was listed at 7 foot, 285 pounds. He was smaller than Shaq, but bigger than most NBA centers in the league. The Lakers had high praise for Andrew Bynum. After they drafted him, they hired Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to coach Bynum individually his first couple seasons in the NBA. What's even crazier is that Bynum was so young that he was the youngest player in the NBA his first two seasons in the league. That's just wild. But for Bynum on the court, he struggled his rookie season, but by his sophomore year, he became a serviceable big in the NBA. He played in every single game his second season and had a pretty iconic moment with the guy that he's always been compared to. Gotta have a lot of nerves going on right now. Williams passed out of three, shoots the two. Oh, and Shaquille O'Neal with the stuff over Andrew Bynum that Bynum will remember for the rest of his life. Yes, he will. Oh, he that too. <laughs> Went right back at him. Oh, look out. Shaquille O'Neal took a swing at Andrew Bynum. I would think this will be an ejection. Shaquille O'Neal, I thought, took a swing. It, it was a forearm shiver. Bynum got him first. He was so pumped up that he threw a forearm at Shaq, and then O'Neal retaliated. Oh, beautiful move. And here's another look. Double technical, and 
Shaquille O'Neal is very fortunate that he was not ejected. Now yeah, Bynum just gives him the little shove like, yeah, take that big fella. But... By the 2009 NBA season, Bynum signed a four-year, $58 million extension with the Lakers. And later that season, Bynum would go on to win his first ever NBA title versus the Orlando Magic. Alongside Kobe and Pau Gasol, Bynum managed to lead his team back to the NBA Finals and back to another NBA title in 2010 versus the Boston Celtics. By the time he reached his sixth year in the NBA, the youngest player in the history of the league was a two-time champion and was straight getting paid. Bynum would eventually make an all-star team in 2012, as well as the all-NBA second team. But after that, Bynum faced several knee injuries almost every single season. He had several knee surgeries and by 2013, his body just couldn't hold up anymore. On August 10th, 2012, Andrew Bynum was traded to the Philadelphia 76ers in the blockbuster deal that sent Dwight Howard to the LA Lakers. Bynum arrived in Philly but would never play a game for the Sixers. He dealt with more knee issues, went through surgery, and just couldn't make it back on the court. Eventually he would sign with the Cleveland Cavaliers, play alongside Kyrie Irving, but only play 24 games that season. And by 2014, he signed with the Indiana Pacers. But once again, those knee issues continued to plague him. After only playing two games with the Pacers, Andrew Bynum would retire from the NBA. And that was it for the youngest player in NBA history. Although his career finished earlier than expected, his resume is super solid. He finished as a two-time NBA champion, NBA All-Star, and made an appearance on the All-NBA second team. It was recently rumored that Bynum was trying to make a comeback, so we'll see what happens there. But that is the story of Andrew Bynum, the youngest player in NBA history. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought about this story, about this video. It's gotta be pretty cool to be 17 years old and playing in the NBA. That's literally the dream. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that subscribe button, also hit that like button. Also, it would be awesome if you guys could go over to my brand new IG page at joshnader711, drop a follow, drop a like. I'll try to follow some of you guys back later tonight, so go show some love, and I'm for sure showing some back. But thanks for watching, that's it for me. Till next time, peace. We've been out here chasing paper like a newsprint Don't you come around my section cause we really do this No more phony people in my circle cause we moved it Been on other levels focused on creating movies